everyone, Mr. Myers here. I uh, just wanted to come to you and tell you about some teachers that are important in my life. Being a third generation teacher, uh, <clears throat> my parents, my grandmother all have impacted me in many ways. Uh, my wife is a teacher and she's an incredible second grade teacher in Davidson County and I want to celebrate her. And also I had some great teachers in school and my sixth grade teachers, Miss Wendy Klutz and Miss Wanda Cecil. They were incredible and they really made me want to be a middle school teacher. Even though I didn't start my career in middle school, uh, that's where I ended up and I'm excited to be here. Uh, <clears throat> Dr. Wheat, man, what a teacher he is. Yeah, he's the principal, but he also teaches lessons each and every day to our scholars that are bar none. Um, my science uh, team, the, each group, teacher in the science department is amazing and I've learned so much from each one of those men. Uh, Mr. Dave Nissen, uh, Scott Van Newkirk, Lance Hammond and uh, I also want to recognize uh, a good friend and an amazing educator uh, Shana Parker, a uh, sixth grade ELA teacher. Man she can entertain a class but it's not about just entertainment. She is a great teacher and she teaches students at a very high level. So that's just a little bit about me uh, and the teachers who have impacted me. Hey guys, Mr. O'Neill and I just wanted to make sure that I took the time out to recognize Ms. Nelson. Ms. Nelson was here when I first started off being a teacher. She gave me a lot of really good resources, a lot of good strategies and techniques. She goes above and beyond to make sure all staff here at Allen J have everything that we need, whether it's technology, a sounding board, anything that we ask of her, she's always there. So I want to take the time out to make sure Ms. Nelson, we love you. We appreciate all that you do here for Allen J. Uh, a teacher who's impacted me is Mr. Kasha. He was my AP U.S. History teacher and World History teacher and my assistant soccer coach. He always made history the most fun class to be in. He told the best stories, he did reenactments, and I now understand why he always had a cup of coffee no matter what time of day it was. Thank you, Mr. Kasha. Good morning. Um, teacher appreciation would be special for me because I became a teacher inspiration from other teachers. I think I probably honored um, the Baines, the yearbook teacher before, but I never honored this person publicly. I had so many mentors. She was my dissertation chair at the beginning. Um, and then she got selected to be over a grant program, and so she was no longer, no longer able to be my dissertation chair. But I chose this lady because she was organized, she was on top of her game, and that's the type of person we needed. So we had a class in her house, coaching responsive leadership, and our last class was in her house. And I was suffering from some imposter syndrome. She looked at me and she said, you're going to be a doctor because you have all the ability to be one. And I had never had someone just be that direct with me and let me know I see it. So I just want to honor you, Dr. Kenny, Dr. Hewitt, you are amazing, you are, I appreciate you, she came to my dissertation, confession, you have to, so thank you so much, Dr. Hewitt, and you and what a great opportunity to celebrate teachers, American educators all across the country. I'm certainly grateful for so many individuals that have positively impacted my life. During my days here at Allen J. Middle School, I had great teachers by the name of Barry Zachary and Mr. Hayes. I had three PE teachers that really impacted me, Coach Corpeting, also Coach Spell, and Coach Gary Meredith. As I went on to high school, I was also blessed to really be influenced in a positive nature by Coach Mickey Atkinson, also by Lynn Murray, uh, Miss Treadway. I had awesome teachers that looked out for me. I had a great soccer coach uh, named Keith Travis who really influenced me in a positive way. And so I just want to pause for a moment and just say thank you to each one of those. From Coach Gary Brown, who helped me in basketball, to all the others who influenced me, looked out for me, and helped guide me in the right direction. I greatly appreciate your influence on my life. And to all those teachers who are doing exactly the same for our kids and our leaders of today, thank you. We appreciate you this week. All right, so the teacher that impacted my life the most was my fifth grade teacher. Her name was Ms. Caldwell. Um, she really believed in me. She even stayed after hours uh, for me to start doing my reading, um, my math, and she just was someone that was so impactful because she even took me home after school. Um, and it was just amazing to have someone in my, in my life that was so impactful, that really believed in me 
and she never said anything negative about me. She all, everything that she sowed into my life was very positive and uplifting. Um, and another teacher or professor rather was in college. Her name was Dr. Robbins. Um, I remember in college I got in a really, really bad car accident and she came and visited me while I was in the hospital and she was just telling me that don't worry about the classwork we got you covered i just need you to come back to school and be 100 percent healthy um and once i got back she would meet with me regularly once a week to kind of just talk to me and ask me how i was doing how was my family because she got to meet my family at the hospital but she was very impactful and to this day i still keep in contact with her and I'm super grateful for her. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week, Alan J. Listen, I just want to take time and tell you a little bit about a teacher that helped me to become and inspire me to be a science teacher. It was my fifth grade science teacher, Mr. Chevron, and that's where I fell in love with science and I fell in love with animals. He had this big, huge desert tortoise named Melvin, and I was one of the first scholars to feed him lettuce from the cafeteria. So anyway, it was at that point I knew I loved animals and I was going to be a science teacher. So thank you, Mr. Chevron, for investing in my life and kind of turning me on towards science. Have a great day, y'all. Okay, so I'm here to talk about some fantastic teachers who affected my life. Uh, when I began teaching, I was very fortunate to have the opportunity to work with some very experienced teachers that taught me uh, the, the way of the psychology of this whole cup that we are taking part of. So I'd like to recognize Donna Caldwell, uh, Susan Hughes, Fran Cook, uh, Cheryl Gaines, all of the old Alan J family that helped me as I came along as a young teacher. And I'm happy that I was able to learn and gain experiences from them, as well as all of the people here at Alan J currently that I continue to be inspired by all of their wonderful work and action. Hi, Mr. Hammond here. Uh, trying to reflect back on uh, a teacher or teachers that really impacted me. And uh, I always tell the story at the beginning of the year to my fifth graders for why I teach fifth grade. And it's because of my fifth grade teacher. Uh, her name was Mrs. Hedberg and she um, reached out to me at a time where I was having a difficult time. My father just passed away and uh, I was kind of going down the wrong pathway and she noticed I was getting in trouble and she pulled me aside and talked to me on several occasions and uh, kind of got me straightened out going the right direction and I'll just never forget how she was able to come uh, basically to my rescue. I don't remember one lesson that she taught but I do remember that she cared about me. So that's my teacher. All right, so today I'd like to recognize a couple of my um, favorite music teachers of all time. I had so many great ones, but there are a few that really come to mind. Um, in third grade, I had a music teacher, Miss Stowe, and that year was really tough for me. I was being bullied and excluded in school, but whenever I walked into her classroom, um, I felt safe, I felt happy, I enjoyed myself, and that's what really inspired me to decide I wanted to teach music. And then in middle school, I had my teacher, Mrs. Rupert, um, and she was fantastic. She really built such a great sense of community. We had so much fun. We learned a lot. We grew so much musically. And I met some of my best friends um, of my life in that class. Many I still talk to, to today. One of them is my husband. So um, I just really want to thank both of them, along with all my other music teachers throughout the year, for um, contributing to my success and creating the person I am today. Morning, scholars. Um, so I'm here, just, I'm going to talk about some of the teachers that have impacted my life. Um, there's a, I have a few kind of across all grade levels, but I remember second grade, my elementary school teacher, Mrs. Dileg. I remember her personality. She was extremely bubbly, um, always had a big smile on her face. Um, and it was just such a pleasure. It was so enjoyable to go into her class. We sang, we danced. It's kind of reminiscent of what we do at Allen Jay. And then kind of, you know, as I grew up, middle school, high school, and started developing different interests, it was absolutely the Spanish teachers that I had that kind of instilled the interest in foreign language and the culture. I also was into sports, so not only my coaches, I remember my middle school cross-country coach and then my high school basketball coach. 
but I also had them as teachers in the classroom. So it was just throughout different stages in my life that these teachers kind of poured into um, just kind of different aspects and what I was looking for in my interest. But I think the main thing to remember is that, you know, we as teachers, we're always there for you as students. So we're there to help you. We're there to guide you. We want you to be successful and we're there to support you. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.